Yep. You have to smoke and just try to go out and kill them. Well, I mean, keep in mind, if you do throw those smokes, you are investing pretty much three onto the site, which means you've only got two left. They have to be perfect to cover off jungle on the top of the stairwell. Because yeah, you're exactly. still going to get caught by those if you come over from A main. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the NIP has played versus European teams doing that exact round so many times, so they just, as uh, Karn said earlier, they're just going to feel so comfortable in that situation. Well, we will start it off, and we are going to see the Swedish duelies out for Get Right. Oh, and uh, I'm surprised that he didn't buy an armor and someone dropped it to him. He's just going for a smoke. Yeah, Superman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because everyone else bought armor, but they didn't upgrade the pistol. It could have been done. Freiburg has your only kit. Close smoke on Cat. Allows Nip to get up close. Snipers drop down as a result. And Freiburg's waiting on B. They aren't coming in toward him, and they're already past him, in fact, because he can't get those first shots. Still tries to fire away. Does get damage down. The aim punch is very real. Stillo comes around from Catwalk, and they are going to catch Forrest. By the way, they are playing that newer setup, that newer style with Forrest, or pardon me, on Catwalk. As Imagine picks up a double. A good pistol round strategy right now, but Alu gets in behind. He's only going to pick up one. James counters him down immediately. And yeah, the immunity get the start. The crucial part there was and Freiber not getting a single kill on B. We saw him struggling there, trying to get the headshot through the window. Even uh, ha getting a few bullets off where they jumped out, but uh, sometimes it's just really hard to connect those shots when you, uh, you're up versus jumping blocks. So now we'll see how they respond with the econ economic lead. We've got an two AKs out, in fact, James with one. Sniper's gonna have your scout, and then it's two MP7s for you, Stillo, and Imagine. And an MP9 for Get Right, and he's already in the underpass, so he may try and catch up on someone who's inside the B apartment. Sniper's gonna find four, so that's your scout. With the shot, Rickay is going to try and come in to connect her. Look at exist position, though. 5-7 up close. Get right has gone all the way around. He's actually in behind Ustillo, and he may get a chance here. Yeah, already spots me. He just has to stay patient. Get up close, and that's exactly what he does. Headshot. He'll swap it over. Pick up the gun as well, but look at this from Exist. He just waits patiently, and like you were about to say, how do you not check that corner? That's such a common spot. So he takes it perfectly. James and Imagine come in, though. They do get two back inside A, so they bring it back to a one-man advantage. But Exist has this AK-47 dropped already on the deck. So it's just up to Freiburg. Does spot your bomb planner. Oh, he's got to be so careful. And the King of Banana holds on to the Banana 5-7. Comes around the corner. Gets an up-close shot. Going to get countered out. Yeah, a little bit too cheeky. Tries to get that scout. And nice round there from immunity. It's actually kind of hard. Even if you win the pistol on the Steel Mirage, the second round is maybe not as hard, but... It's almost like o only 60-40% to two the T's. It's actually really tough to play versus those five sevens. And you can have a scout in middle, you can have a scout jumping the B tunnels. It's uh, n very nice that Amunity won the pistol and the second round there. Imagine aggressively out with the AK. Knows they're going to be full save on NIP's side. They have brought up the five seven onto Freiburg. Got the nades into the window room just to make sure nobody's there. There isn't. They'll check it anyway. In fact, they get one inside ladder room from Catwalk. As Imagine now slowly works in toward the connector. But look at the positionings from Nip. They've actually given up the A site entirely. They're going to play it from the backside, from the T positions. Get rights on Tetris. There's an immediate pick from him. Doesn't check deep enough into the corner. And they had no idea he would be that close. Unfortunately, the AK fell far away from him. So he could not pick it up. As Imagine is going to go ahead and get him in response. And there's the end of the round. So it's 3 nothing now, Immunity. But this time... NIP will bring out the rifles. A great start from Immunity, winning the pistol, winning that second round, and only losing one player there on the sec uh, the full eco for NIP. Even though I say that, they do have don't uh, they don't have a lot of money actually. Yeah, I mean they did go pretty heavy. We saw an MP9 first or second round for Get Right, and then double five sevens for Freiburg. Rick is going to catch Freiburg as I speak his name and then Exist does get back into Ustillo but they know there's still one more up close and there's a perfect peek from the lower. Excellently timed from James to catch them off and he's going to make it a double. Alu has nowhere to go so well played from Immunity to get a player in behind them. Now it's just Forrest and Get Right. And they're well split up. One towards CT side on A and Forrest rotating back through Kitchen. And that's a complete opposite NIP we saw from playing Fnatic. Versus Fnatic, they played extremely passive back on the site. Now they tried to, try to go for those duels in middle, but uh, Immunity with some good smokes actually to won those duels in middle, trading one player for three. And they're playing for exits. 30 seconds left. Oh, pardon me, 50. I don't quite see it on our monitor. It cuts it off. But it's 50 seconds left, so... They'll head into A. Get right's already in position behind the vents. 
to watch for exits. Actually comes through and catches Rike, but I don't imagine he'll go all the way. Yeah, they haven't crossed over yet, though, so if he can get one more, then they do have a chance to play for this. Forest has rotated around, and there it is. So Sniper goes. Now they can actually hold on to this and get right lines them all up. He's got a third. James does get back into him, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Forest on the back side of the smoke. He's going to hold this plant. Forest runs through. He's very low on HP. So unless Forrest can catch him off guard, he's got this, and that's exactly the case. Forrest walks out. And that should not be able to happen. You're on a four versus two. The uh, Cetus was, like, not even on the site. Yeah, I'm just, just choking that round. However, it's, it was a 1v1 now, so Immunity Axel has a golden opportunity to screw up NIP's economy here. So that losing that round might actually work in their favor. But uh, they have to force by this round, they really have to. Importantly though, Forrest did go hu hunting for the AWP and got it. Initially, Get Right was on the back side of the vents. It looked like they had just submitted to the A site. They'd given it up, Forrest went all the way over to B. And then when he peeked through, they hadn't crossed over. P90 out for Exist. Like you said, NIP was still quite broke as they lost everyone that was up. And if NIP loses this round, they're actually in a lot of trouble. AD does do good damage to Rikke. But Freiburg's blind. I think they may have spotted him going into the corner, or did they? No, they weren't on the inside of the smoke, so he gets there for free, but it was Harry doing so. James this time out. No one to be found, so he can't find the double pick. Get right's the one inside window forest. Oh, this is going to be so painful for Ustillo. It walks out. Actually does reasonable damage in return, but still goes down. And with Get right holding the off angle, there will be no one else to push up Catwalk. He'll have already called that. And I mean, just trying to go for the same strat they did last round, just taking control of mid through uh, underpass and just trying to go for that connector. I mean, it's a reasonable play. We saw yesterday Liquid never really took full control of that, but it does at least entertain one player, a connector that has to stay busy, and James goes further than that. He walks all the way up. Exist and get right caught, and Alu smoked off. Forrest, meanwhile, does catch James on the backside of the vent. That pulls it back to three on three. Mm. If Alu can get the plant. If the plants go down, this should have been an easier round for immunity, actually. Freiburg, there was no smoke on connector, but couldn't find the first shot. Now he does. Up the ladder with Alu already finding sniper. There's only one left, but he can't connect the shot on Imagine. He's still up, gets caught. And it's Forrest again to close out the round. Yeah, Alu. Where yeah. was the aim, sir? Yeah, exactly. You can see Alu's really frustrated. He missed like two completely open shots there versus uh, towards connector and the stairwell there, but. Uh, yeah, NIP with three surviving players might be able to stabilize now. Well, it's a big buy into this, though. As Forrest is down to zero. Does have a smoke and a flash to go with the armor and the op. Alu's already in window. Late smoke out over the top, as we saw, so he still has a chance here. It does cover off everything, though. There will be no gap. And that nade a little too deep. Only six damage dealt to imagine. The rest get past it, but look at Exist. Holding on. Pistols get up close. They'll do no damage. Finally, James drops him. And Alu up close gets one. Well played. As James does go down. And he gets to get right in Freiburg to close the rest. Actually, Alu stole that one out from the barrel of his gun, but no less, they bring it back to threes. And I kind of feel like immune to miss their opening into this game there when they lost that last round because now NIP... Well, that Antico with four players surviving, NIP is kind of stabilized. I wouldn't be surprised if NIP will go in out of this half with uh, double digits. Smoke over, bounce, does it make it? Yes. Perfectly placed. Alu goes for the peak from Connector, though. He's not even in the window. He will slide back into that position. Passive play from Catwalk this time as well, so... That means James is already around the corner. Forrest not able to connect that shot. Actually does do reasonable damage, but not the kill. Exist finds James, so he won't get all the way into the window room. That would have completely cut off NIP's rotation. And uh, I mean, just looking scattered right now, playing two people defensive up in mid. Really no point in standing there since you're not gaining any ground. You really need to push forward on Cat or down in middle so you can... The Cetus must at least think you're able to be in like Ventrum or boosting CPL. And there's only one smoke up right now for immunity, and it's in the B apartment, which means Sniper in middle right now, or pardon me, Rick A in middle right now is in a very tight spot. Oh, he did have a smoke. Okay, that was showing on my overlay, but he puts it out. That lets him get away at least, because he was pretty much naked with three players facing him. Freiburg does take down Sniper, and Forrest gets Imagine, so now it is just left to Rick A. Yeah, he should just try to go for picks here. I don't think he should save his AK. 
Just try to get one or two frags before he dies. I must have picked up that smoke off the dead body beside him, because when I initially looked, he didn't have one. No matter. Flawless round from NIP, and now they're into the lead. Yeah, I'm even more money now in the NIP bank. This is going to be really tough for immunity to break. You can see Force there just looking so confident. He should grow that beard out until they win an event. We should make that a thing. Yeah. Not allowed to cut the beard until you win. Was it? Uh, He's gonna have to tie it so he doesn't trip Flush over it. Flush that? I know it was some player. Flush it might have done that, yeah. But then he shouldn't have any beard. They like won everything. Well, there was a time when that wasn't the case. So smokes over top. This will give Freiburg the indication they are gonna push on to him, and it is a Tech Nine rush. First already caught by Force. Now he pops out. Look how blind they were. Great flash placed. They still take down Freiburg no matter. Swapping over his forest onto that 5-7, making a double for him, and Allery through the smoke finds Ustilo, who is just desperately trying to put the bomb in place for the money. And every round, NIP just winning in such convincing fashion right now. Are yeah, I mean, you mentioned the economy was close, now look at it. Five digits before the buy for most players. Yeah, um, I don't know what immunity can do. Maybe they should just try to go for one of their ex executes, but because, like... When they're going in through the middle, they're just trying to get control of that connector. Just they're just going down to the ops of NIP. Chris, look how aggressive he gets with the op. Imagine makes them pay for it. So Palace is open. Yeah, that might have been uh, like James. Two. Is, James is getting good position. Look at that. Gets in completely for free up connector and catches off get right. New Stillo's going to go ahead and take down Freiburg. They've got a completely open and no hold from NIP in mid that time. Yeah, and that. I mean, she really should win this round. Bomb has been planted. And I think NIP is just getting too confident. Like, force push there in A apps, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, if you're so much stronger than the players individually, you don't really need to push. You can just wait and we'll let them come to you. I think that's impatience, just the fact that they want to get this over with? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think so, absolutely. Just force having a good spawn and just like going with the flow. It's like, oh, I have good spawn towards A, I'm just gonna go into A apps and just. Like, he could take that initial peak into Ahab's, but he didn't really need to, like, go in, uh, like, around the pillars there in Palace. Immunity to close out on the last kill invested a Molotov in it just to get make sure they were going to get exist, so... They wanted that round badly. <laughs> yeah. Spare nothing. Just get the numbers up on the scoreboard. So one more for Immunity. That answers back. Resets the money bonus, which was up to five rounds, and it's only won the difference. And already they've lost James. Exist is going to be the one to find him. Alu forced that amid. No smoke to do it, but lots of fire in his direction. There was a smoke actually in the corner, as we can see, so he only had one angle to fire at. Look at Ustilo around the corner. Alu does finally put him down, but Forrest has already found his way six feet under. Oh my oh goodness. My God. <laughs> Who's going to turn first? <laughs> Double flash out. Are you kidding me? Exist, Exist goes down. He, I may have heard him drop. I don't think he did, but they're past each other completely. Now the, both teams are going to say, okay, this is clear, but it's actually not. So who act is going to hold the, the angle? Who's going to have the better advantage right now? Uh, and imagine gets yeah. Alu as a result. Now he's got to be careful. Get right's going to fire away with the auto sniper. He goes down to sniper as he overexposes himself. But this pulls Exist back and he realizes, what the hell just happened? How did I leave that open? Yeah, and he probably thought Exist came from underpass or there or something. I don't think he passed him during connector. So this gives them the bomb plant. A little bit of luck goes the way for immunity. And sniper goes one further. He actually swaps over to get rights. Auto sniper. Freiburg does bring it back to a one-on-one. -on -one and sniper's in the open. He's got to get caught right now. Trying to cross over. Manages to get there. Does Freiburg realize it though? That's the question. He is peeking. He knows he's there. And he gets the kill with the M4. Yeah, and sniper just getting into that really bad position at the Tetris boxes. You can't really escape anywhere. And you get in a like, really awkward aim situation as well. Especially with the auto sniper. So yeah, kind of bad positioning there for him, but there was basically nowhere he could go. And here you go, get right. Have your gun back. They recover it for him. So Freiburg, there he is, closes out the round. That brings us back to 6-4. But a bit of hilarity to unfold that round. It almost went the way of immunity because of exists passing through that smoke. Yeah, get right plays passively with that auto sniper. Yeah, double op plus the auto sniper. This is going to be tough for Amirti. And I think Amirti is going for the Titan strat now, which I talked about earlier. And uh, as I said earlier, I think NIP is going to be ready for this. And both They're of waiting a long time before throwing smokes. Don't really know why. 
Both of your M4s are split up as well. We see Exist on the stairs. The second one's in Kitchen. That's Fryber. He's got to rotate quickly. Exist already spotted. Good play with the op there. So get right, though. Up and over. We've seen him do it before from that position. Forrest finds two. Eventually dropped by James. And around the corner comes Alu. So that's two scoped weapons up close. Get right. Does he go for the knife? I'm sorry. You're not Kadian. As James gets him as a result over top of the box. Alu does get the nade back into him. And this brings it back to a two-on-one. And still a... In Shadow manages to catch Alu. Good play from him, and he flashes himself out. Can he get a double? No! Freiburg just barely holds on to the recoil. And I just want to say, this is the third one we won Immunity losing this half. This could have been a completely different half if Immunity were able to close this round. So, and yeah, NRP just know how to handle that Titan push on A. That almost came back, though. I thought Freiburg was done for when that pop flash went out. But he holds true, has trust in his aim and angle. But yeah, like you say, Immunity are making these rounds at least interesting. And Immunity is going for a simple tech 9 by air, he just wants to keep... Why? That actually makes no sense. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? You're just walking into the bullets! Get right fired, half the clip! And then they walk into the last couple. There was damage done, but no one down, and instead they just walk into that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of weird. And Another thing that's weird is Immunity decided to buy Tech Nines. I don't. They should understand that they're not able to break NFP's bank now. So just going for that full Glock Eco would have been a much better decision. Just banking up yourself and try to get like e get to an even ground with the weaponry. Man, oh man! A little bit of impatience that time. Like you say, the Tech Nines did nothing for them, so it's essentially wasted money. One smoke out to delay your A main push, and that's where they are setting up this time. Yeah, they're doing the same thing again, I think. Different setup from NIP, though. No one towards CT, so get right slid over with a more aggressive angle to hold on to the stairwell. Finally, now they'll go back to the default. They're actually going to pull Freiburg up into position, or pardon me, Alu up into position with Exist. Here they come over the top. Get right spots one, two shots already down. Make it another, and he's going to get more. He's got an ace here before. Eventually, he gets dropped down by Sniper, so not to be this time, and that brings us back to three on three. Alu now. Takes the long way around the backside of the vents and gives himself an angle onto Palace as Forrest wants to come up through the smoke. And there it is. Alley finds Sniper. Watch to your right, Forrest. Imagine still there. So Bomb yet to get placed. And now it's down to only Rick a left. And they know he's in Palace. They've already fired or pre-fired onto him. And the Bomb's a long way away. Drop down below him with both holding that angle. Yeah. AK to hold on to. Yeah, he knows he has to rotate back because Alley can just hold that angle from uh, the ticket area. They don't see the spawn. I mean, once again, Immunity doing the Titan push, and it actually, actually looked promising when they traded two for two. But they're just, w they're just too passive there at the Tetris box. They just wait the too long. The, the smoke towards seat to spawn actually disappeared, and Ali could kill the planter. He's out. He actually got by them right now. So he fell off it. They second-guessed the angle and somehow pushes past the fire unsighted. Nonetheless, they'll get him. So and nine now for NIP. And it's actually one of the points you made earlier with the Titan push that you have to use all five smokes. It also means you have to plant before the smoke disappears. Because he went too long at the treacherous box that the smoke towards the spawn just disappeared and Ali just went up. So again, sitting there planting the bomb and uh, after that, the round was basically over. It's Forrest's turn to hold the window this time. He'll do it with the op smoke on the bottom of underpass and there's your first shot. Alu trying to find a second one from the connector on the second angle. Oh, James! Cheeky shot through the smoke. Just goes ahead and fires. Does massive damage to Freiburg, who then decides to bail away from it and put himself back down in the bomb site. Forrest will come over to help him out. And another. Look at that. Freiburg caught again. So early damage, secondary shot to get the kill. And James isn't done just yet. He does finally get put down by Forrest 5 7, but they're going to take this invitation to rotate through. And imagine pours out from the window. The Tech 9 this time will make no mistake. Alu again, not able to connect the shot. So bomb will go down. And they've picked up two guns. They picked up the AK. For Sniper and Imagine actually picks up the op from Alu. Exist back into one, Alu back into the other, and now it's all left to Rick A. He's the one without the rifle. Yeah, this should be an easy round for NIP, but once again I'm able to get him the bomb down. Rick A knows they're on it. He might be able to pick up one note slightly too tight of an angle, and it doesn't matter, get right there to hold it. It would have been interesting to see the scoreboard and just see how many rounds I'm able to actually been able to plant the bomb. I think we can see that any second. Yeah, there we go. We can actually see just uh, five diffuses. So five bomb plants, and NIP has been 
basically been able to win all of them. So immune to getting up on the sides, making kind of even trades with NRP, which is actually surprising, but never able to close out the round. Look at the aggression as well, this time from Freiburg. We haven't seen him head into the underpass before. He will now. This will catch Rickay off if they don't rotate back just by chance. He actually runs up, though, so they may have heard him there, but no, they're already too far forward. They're already out toward the drop zone. That pulls Alu back as Forrest has dropped. Freiburg cuts them off, though. Imagine trying to join his teammates, gets picked, but watch out, Sniper. No, he gives up the angle. He actually was in a position to hold it. Instead, he gets impatient, goes back to support his teammate. Had a free kill walking his way, and Freiburg picks up the double. As a result, make it a triple. Bomb down. You're still on Sniper a long way away from the site, so NIP in another great position here is get right. No smoke to hold him off. We'll just wait for one to pass by. Missing the shot, though. Still gets the better with the AK. Flash over. Alu makes no mistake this time. Same effect for Freiburg. So 11-4, not quite the 12-3 we had last match. A little bit better from Immunity. But Ninjas in Pajamas are in a great spot to wrap this up in two. Yeah, especially considering Immunity won the pistol round. Immunity had 3-0 uh, lead. And NAP getting 11 rounds. Just look at uh, Immunity right now. They don't look that happy. They know they're probably out of the tournament in the next coming 15 minutes. And not to discredit, they did take down Liquid. Yeah, and they had a pretty decent match versus NIP yesterday. The first time by, yeah. exactly. And it's good to see that there's two teams in the Oceania region. Obviously, Keed Stars made it to the top eight at the last major. But they're the only one from Brazil right yeah, exactly. now. Uh, it's, it's really nice to see in the Oceania region that there is another team, Vox, Eminor, as well as these guys, that can mix it in to some extent with the uh, other continents. It only bodes well for the scene back home. Flash is going to go out, pistol around underway. James backside. This is very passive setup. And although they're all blinded up, NIP will not slow down. They come through. James does manage to pick off Freiburg over top. Good smokes to hold off the backside of jungle, but Exist already manages to find one. Bomb is going down. Ustillo pushes forward, and he can't get into position to get the bomb planter, but he does catch Exist. So it gives them the one-man advantage. Get right will bring that right back, and Forrest puts it into the favor of NIP. It's all Imagine and Sniper. Sniper fires away, he can't land the shot with that USP. Same can be said for Imagine right now, who somehow dances away though. River dance to get away from the bullets, and now he closes him eventually. Yeah, and that was basically the nail in the coffin. I'm usually losing that pistol round, going down to 12-4. I will... Will they go for the eco, and try to go Falmus next round, or will they go for the force by now? It's just like a lose-lose situation. Neither of those options is something you want to do. It looks like they're prompting for that Toliko and then going for the Thomas's next round. Yeah, good nade out as well. No armor. Look at that, down to 27. That landed pretty much on his backside. And they'll finish it off with a second one. So Rickey drops, get right, find Sniper. Get right inside the smoke. Similar situation. They're going to pass each other. Imagine hurt him, though, because you saw him turn back just to check that. So he'll know one is in that direction. We'll see if he can at least get exits and find some weaponry to work with. But Forrest has already spotted up the two on the flank. Finds the first. Finds the second. Get right. Finds your third. That's Imagine. Yeah, I'm unity going for the Thomas's this round, probably. They can't go for 14 for Yeah, they're going for the Thomas's. Well, so far they're going for one yeah, from us. What, Where's what the rest this? of the buy? Okay, Rick A has joined in. Okay, they are going to do it now. A little bit late decision, but they do go for it. In fact, Rick A went straight for the M4. No armor. I wouldn't be surprised if they were actually arguing arguing about oh, that. But like, one guy bought it, and they're like, maybe they in-game just like, no, 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 we're supposed to go for the full double eco. And Why not swap in that case? One guy has armor. You bought an M4. Throw it over. Keep the FAMAS for you, and give armor to the M4 carrier. Anyway, not what they do. Imagine does come out. Makes a trade onto NIP, Forrest down, as was James just before that. Bomb is also in position, but retake looks okay. Get right's a long way away from the site, so this relies on Alu to hold them out, not get close to the inside, and allow Get right to get in position from A main, and Alu's doing the job so far. Drops down, and with the support from Freiburg, they've collected two. Rick A is the second of which to drop. And Freiburg comes around, they'll close it off 14-4. Yeah, and I'm into with no money now. I think they have like 2,500. So, yeah, they have to force buy, which means they're probably going to buy SMGs, maybe a 5-7. And if NMP just get one more round, they ensure that they will have at least a tie. So, I'm to need like the most epic comeback ever to get back into this. Fire. 
smokes. Okay, fire and smoke. So that cancels one out. That was a bit of a misplay from Nip, but it won't matter. They're in full control. Look at the shotgun out on Rick A. Still a nice shot with the 5.7. Does catch exist coming out from the underpass, but Get Right was waiting on the catwalk angle. Forrest is going to find Imagine. Click, click, boom. Chin check him with that shotgun. Swaps to the AK. Sniper yeah. fire. I don't even think they're going to go for this. No, they're just going to try to save and go for the tie, which means they have to win 11 rounds in a row versus NIP. Not the easiest task. And NIP, they're just looking like they're... They're taking it seriously, sure, but they're not like using their proper strats. They're just going kind of like just for the individual play right now. And Freiburg's on the hunt, as we can see. He won't find anyone, though. They are in good position. Although... Okay, no, Sniper doesn't push out the backside B. It looked like they may have had a confrontation toward the horseshoe. <coughs> Excuse me. As uh, now we are on match point. Series point and tournament point for the Australians. I like their jerseys, by the way. Classy. It's almost like the rugby, the down under. Yeah, it's good. they look decent. And, uh, yeah, 11 rounds in a row. Do you think they can do it? No, I'm going to be honest. I don't think they can, but they can play for some pride and at least pick up what they can from this. Rick, hey, decent play. Dodges the flash. Good read, but unfortunately, Get Right came around a little bit too soon, and Forrest now finds Imagine. It's only two left. Just before we get out of this as well, I also want to point out Immunity are a great bunch of guys, I have to say. I've really enjoyed hanging around with them this weekend, getting to meet them, and they're not done just yet. They won't go without at least a little bit of a fight. They'll bring this back to a reasonably even situation. Make it two-on-one now, Forrest and Alu. Only Ustilo up and left. Has full nades. Has a kit. Already has three. Can't get the fourth. Alu closes it out, and there it is. That's going to do it. So, nip move on. Immunity, hats off to them. They'll bow, up, bow out here. Yeah, I mean... They did a decent performance at least, beating Liquid, as we said earlier, uh, plus getting that 14 rounds on Dust 2 versus NIP yesterday, but uh, I mean, right now I don't think they're happy with this performance at all. NIP just rolled over them pretty easily. Yeah, definitely. They looked a lot more composed today. I think yesterday they were a little bit scrambled, kind of didn't really play to their strengths, and obviously we saw on Dust 